when the lateral wall is big and the quality of the bone is good it's not osteoporotic lateral wall a young patient with a good lateral wall i would tend to fix with that because if i don't fix that lateral wall the nail can toggle for that purpose i put this screw here another case again similarly you can see i have done the reduction held the reduction first then passed a cancellous screw converted the intertrochanteric with subtrochanteric into pure subtrochanteric fracture then i have done the nailing so this is what where i fix the lateral wall otherwise i normally don't fix the lateral wall if the lateral wall also has a mere large fragment then i will put with a wire this is one case where you can see that i have fixed because this place adds to the stability lateral wall fracture with medial long butterfly fragment where this adds to the stability then only i'll fix the lateral wall otherwise i will not fix the lateral or in a quality bone with lateral wall going haywire with a coronal split this is a, one example a good quality bone with a lateral wall which is going haywire here i have used a trochanteric butter split as well as the wire both the technique i have used additionally i have passed a screw also to maintain the reduction so this is what i use then if it is osteoporotic badly comminuted lateral wall undisplaced with intact anatomy so in such cases if the lateral wall fragment where my screw is coming in the way see you can see this is a very badly comminuted proximal femur i will not fix anything just getting the alignment right is my aim here if it is very badly comminuted where i think one uh, some of you sh showed if you try to do the wiring this wire will go through the fracture site and you will not be able to hold any of this fragment in this fractures i have my own technique this is lateral wall severe comminution no, small fragments not amenable to do wiring no support to the lateral head is the possible cause then it is a nail i use what i do is i pass the nail deep into the fracture site pass the screws of the head this is where the indian two screw system helps so none of the imported ones i have got a head so i use the head of the screw itself in the nail the nail acts as the lateral wall i have inserted through the fracture you can see the demonstration case i did it at sanchethi hospital lateral wall is broken there was medial wall was also broken because there was medial wall broken i have got additional extra valgus because the lateral wall was broken i have put the screw through the fracture site and that is supporting against the nail the nail is acting at the lateral wall so this is immediate post operative x ray see just at one month fracture has already united so this is what you have to get get the support to the head of this screw that is very very important that i call it as she was supporting the lateral wall again a badly comminuted lateral wall fracture again you can see the screw heads which have gone through the nail and it is touching the nail and i have already removed the implant in this patient so why the screw has to be put inside if the head of the screw is supported against the lateral wall or the nail there is no toggling if the lateral wall the head of the screw is loose what happens is it can toggle it can toggle like this so this toggling causes the nail the screw threads to lose the purchase and slide out so that is the reason why 30% of the transurethral fractures fix with just screws will have failure that is the reason why we fix a fully threaded screw after putting partly threaded screw that is the reason why we put a powell screw this is you can see that when a partly threaded screw is put the head of the screw becomes unsupported due to collapse this collapse causes the head to lose the support of the lateral wall and they start toggling once they start toggling they come out that is the reason why dr ds kulkarni has come out with his own way of uh, treating with his plate which has come out recently in the market so that is the reason why we to prevent unnecessary collapse we put a powell screw so friends screw head requires support whether it is lateral wall or nail that you have to take again dr mukhi's concoction technique where he has used fully threaded cancellous screw to prevent collapse of the dhs because uncontrolled collapse is very bad so that is the thing again this is a 85 year old man you can see this is a very osteoporotic fracture there is hardly any lateral wall you can see again i have put the screw into the fracture site 
against the nail this is immediate post op <laughs> i allow all my patients to walk full weight bearing in the immediate post op period there is no question of non weight bearing in this cases because this patient have to be mobilized to get their moral up then this is a 10 weeks you can see the screw head is remaining against the nail at the same position and the patient is so happy he is so thankful to me i have got the permission from him to use it whenever i do the presentation so he was crying literally somebody had told that he is going to die with this factor so he was so crying and he was profusely thanking me this is a case i demonstrated at ganga hospital uh, trauma course a badly comminuted lateral wall here i used a pfn to but the head of the screw is very very small so i couldn't compress the fracture what happened the screws have backed out in due course of time you could see that my earlier five cases there was no backing out of the screw but in this case though the fracture has united it's like dr vivek had what he said so in this cases because i have not compressed it it has backed out friends what i want to tell is if there is a badly comminuted lateral wall push the head of the screw this is only possible with pfn or any screw with a head system none of the pfn a2 zn they have got head that's why i promote this regular <laughs> pfn a2 screw system nothing else sir dr tanna sir i would say that 90% of the fractures whether you use pfn a2 or zn or halifax nail or anything it heals without any problem but a fact like this with lateral wall communicated that heals well only if there is a head of the screw which is touching against the nail if that screw head is if the screw head is not there that will toggle and that will cause the problem even the original synthesis is not having the head that is the reason why i promote made in india atmanirbhar pfn there is nothing else i don't have any shares with the company i don't have run a company i don't manufacture any of them but i use them because this is the only nail in the world which is having a head which is available in the market unfortunately the problem is it's a patent issue which is very very problem another example large butterfly fragment medially where i had done the nailing again a large this is demonstration case i did it at vaira along with dr atul patel large medial butterfly fragment encerclage wiring done then the zn was carried out where i use a trochanteric butter stick where the fragment is too widely separated yes i don't mind putting a trochanteric buttress plate but i am still happy with using a just a pfn but this patient was a grandfather of an orthopedic surgeon so i didn't want to take a risk that's why i have used everything whatever is possible this is a one one and a half six weeks follow up in the same patient you can see that the head of this screw head of this screw is supported by the plate earlier the nail was supporting my screw but here since i have used a tbp the head of the screws are supported by the plate i do use single screw system this is my own case where you can see a zn and i use the back end of the screw has got inside this is something which i should not have done it should be slightly out so that it can collapse outside this is a mistake i have done what happens if the screw back end of the screw is outside it can slide out through the hole but if it is gone inside then it will abut against the hole and it will not collapse properly that is the reason why the pfn a2 penetrating into the joint is more common unlike in other cases where it is due to the uh, uh, how to compress a fracture without a headless screw friends we have so many screws zn pfn a2 trigen nail zn halifax nail none of them have got a compression screw how this compression works in them yes this is first one you can see either you pull the neck head and neck fragment and then lock with the set screw that is one way otherwise you push the lateral wall the sleeve itself by, by turn buckle in the sleeve you push the lateral wall that lateral wall pushes the compact the fracture then you with the set screw you lock it now once you lock it what happens to the lateral wall see i have locked it but the lateral wall is still able to toggle because there is no support to the lateral wall if there was a head to that screw the cervical screw whatever it is if there was a head to that this toggling would not have happened so i want to show this this toggling which happens 
could be prevented by just having a head unfortunately none of these crews have got this head except our indian implants why i am stressing this indian implant and indian implant and you can compare the fact to what you want it can be 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm 10 mm 20 mm whatever you want to do you can do the compression see here i have my own case of znn i compressed the fracture you can see i have compressed it and up this is by pushing the sleeve then after i i have pushed the set screw almost 1 cm of the back end of the screw was outside as soon as i removed the jig as soon as i removed the jig already it has gone see this wire you can see so much of nail is outside no so much of screw is outside but already the compression has become less because the lateral wall is not at all having support if there was a head to this screw that problem could have been solved that is the reason why i propagate screws with a head none of these screws uh, the newer screws have got the head that that is the problem i face another thing what i want to finally tell is this is again a screw which is compressed again a screw which is compressed i don't want to go through that why i like pfn is none of the newer screw is again gets screw so my friends have to use since their system they are using is not having as like uh, dr babulkar using a pfn it they don't have the uh, lateral wall they have to use the wire but i have managed just with a screw head of the screw against the nail in all these cases which is not possible with any of the newer implant it's not that i use all on, always only pfn uh, pfn uh, regular pfn no i do use them in 90% of the cases good results can be obtained by properly doing the surgery in remaining 10% of the indicated cases where only this can solve the problem so just uh, to conclude i will say that when there are so many nails in the market why pfn a2 is not available elsewhere in the world friends pfn a2 came by synthes in 1997 what happened was in september to, on september 28 2006 smith and nephew went again the in the us court against synthes and immediately within a month 27th of october friends 26th of september the court case has been filed in usa 27th of october the result declared in the us court within one month where they have said that synthes should withdraw tfn pfn d rotational screw everywhere from the world that is the reason why there is no tfn by synthes after 2006 but intertrochanteric fracture market is a huge market they cannot keep quiet after stopping manufacturing pfn regular pfn synthes came out with the helical blade in 2007 then they said that the helical blade is good and it avoids z effect their own product had this problem just to sell the new product they came out and stole this then they had problem with pfn a so they came out with pfn a2 with slightly little more curve and little more lateral entry and now recently they have come out with pfn a in 2017 friends the synthes have come in the last 20 years with four nails you can see all the four nails here 2006 2007 2011 2017 4 varieties of nail have come recently they have come with a, a lag screw also because they know that this helical blade whatever they aim that they are getting good purchase in the uh, bone is not correct so they have already come out because the gamma nail patent period is over so the lag screw system already they have copied friends now when since uh, when i am propagating so much of uh, this uh, where it is yeah gamma nail is manufactured by smith and nephew every 3 second there is one gamma nail being done somewhere in the world mainly it is in japan and china it's a hot cake still because pfn uh, uh, two screw system is not available friends last few slides when pfn a2 with two screw system is so good and synthes lost it now smith and nephew have got the uh, patent with them to tell them why they are not selling one of the reason is they are doing very well with gamma nail 
they are also having a trigen nails with the navy got trigen nail when they have got two nails already for intertrochanter uh, in the market why the hell they will come with a third nail and compete with their own product that is the reason why two screw system is not available anywhere in the world except in india that is the reason why we don't hear any article written in the western journal or european journal or australian journal about two screw system whatever we read is only gamma nail bfn a2 znn these are trigen nail because they are the only thing which is available to all of us elsewhere in the world only in india because our whatever is the government rules are we can copy and sell any of the product that is the reason why we have got two screw system that is the best implant available in the market as of today thank you very much i'll stop here